So the PC industry has been awash with the excitement of the launch of Threadripper. And much like its little brother, the Ryzen CPU, it's consistently kicking the backside of Intel. Its cheaper variants are outdoing more expensive SKUs from the Intel lineup and then light priced SKUs from the respective organizations. Threadripper is absolutely destroying them. So the future looks very rosy. That said, the news has just broken that Threadripper is not going to support NVMe drives in a RAID 0 format, supporting striped access to those disks and theoretically doubling the rate at which you can read and write to them. So is this a problem? And to set some context for this, the Samsung 960 EVO that I've got in the build to my left, that has a read speed of 3200 megabytes per second. That would require somewhere in the order of 250 very high quality 4K videos being simultaneously read all at the same time. Our boot times are already pretty slick and fast, and it's fair to say that AMD have been pretty good with their BIOS updates. And Threadripper, I expect, much like the Ryzen platform before it, it's going to have a couple of bumps in the road when it's first released. It is a brand new architecture after all. So is the lack of NVMe RAID support a deal breaker? I would say no. There's every possibility that you'll be able to create a RAID drive uh, from a software perspective within Windows. And if you can't, I'm sure that one of the BIOS updates that comes shortly after the Threadripper release will solve this problem. And even if you can't, really challenge yourself on the use case where you need somewhere in the order of 6400 megabytes per second, which is about 500 100 megabits per second 4K videos. It's not just content creators that will be interested in this. Clearly, if you're setting up some kind of server or some kind of NAS drives, then, uh, then arguably this could be a deal breaker, but there are far, far more cheaper and efficient ways of doing that. So I really don't think that this should be off-putting. I think the improved bang for buck from Threadripper far outweighs its shortfalls, and I'm personally really looking forward to getting my hands on it. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like and share this video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so by bashing this button there, and I'll see you in my next one.